Hi, I'm Carson Day with Dave Smith Instruments, back with our next Tempest tutorial video. In today's video, we'll expand on what we learned in the previous video and explore some ways for creating dynamic bass and lead sounds. We'll also take a look at 16 tunings pad mode and how to trigger the Tempest polyphonically from an external keyboard controller. To get started, make sure you're in 16 sounds mode and have the sound screen mode selected. Next, select the sound you wish to use by hitting its pad. We'll initialize the sound pad so we can start from scratch. You can do so through the edit menu. The sound will reset to a kick drum sample loaded to oscillator 3. Let's turn off oscillator 3 and begin with using the analog oscillators. You can choose to load various waveforms to the analog oscillators including sawtooth, triangle, saw triangle, and pulse. I'll use the pulse wave. At this point, we can continue to design the sound while triggering a single note, though it would probably be more useful to trigger a range of notes while creating the sound. We'll use 16 tunings mode to do so. Press the 16 beats and 16 time steps buttons at the same time to enter 16 tunings mode. We can now use the pads to play multiple notes for the selected sound. To alter which notes the pads play, press the pads button to bring up the 16 tuning screen. In the screen, you can use the soft knobs to change the quantization setting, octave, root note, and scale restriction for the pads. Let's lower the octave setting for the pads and start making our bass sound. Hit the sounds button to re-enter the sound screen. Set the envelopes to ADSR mode by hitting the AD mode button. The sound will now sustain when a pad is held. Turn down the amp envelopes release. Now, turn down the filter cutoff. You can easily create a sub bass sound by turning the filter cutoff to a very low setting and increasing some resonance. Hit the right arrow button to navigate to the secondary filter parameter page. Add a bit of the key tracking to the low pass so the sound is still audible when higher pitched notes are played. Let's give our current sound even more bass by adding a bit of the sub oscillator. Select oscillator 1 and press the right arrow button to navigate to the secondary page of the oscillator parameters. The sub-oscillator generates a square wave one octave below oscillator 1's root note. Turn the sub up and play across the pads and adjust the settings as needed. Now that we've set a foundation for our bass sound, we could create a range of different types of bass sounds. Use the filter envelope with shortest decay settings to create donk type bass sounds. or you can increase the decay time for longer filter sweeps. Let's move on to creating some lead sounds, but first we'll connect an external keyboard controller to polyphonically trigger one of the Tempest sound pads. You can do so by connecting the external keyboard controller's MIDI output to the Tempest MIDI input. Once the keyboard controller is attached to the Tempest, we will need to select a single sound pad for it to trigger. To do so, press the System button and navigate to the MIDI Polyphonic Keyboard Play Category page. Scroll to the MIDI Synth In channel parameter and send the Tempest to receive MIDI note data from the controller on a unique MIDI channel. Of course, you'll need to set your controller to send data on the same MIDI channel. Now, scroll to the MIDI Synth Sound parameter and select the sound pad you wish to trigger from the external controller. I'll choose A1 as my sound. The keyboard controller can now be used to trigger the Tempest bass sound. In this case, we're using the Pro 2 as the controller, though all the sounds are coming from the Tempest. It's good to note that you could also trigger the Tempest from any DAW software. 
Let's use our bass sound as a starting point for our lead. To begin, press the 16 sounds button and the sound screen mode. We're going to copy the bass sound to a new pad so we can use the bass and the lead together. To do so, hold the copy button, select the sound pad you wish to copy from, and hit the sound pad you wish to copy to. Start by turning the filter frequency up, setting the sub oscillator off, and loading oscillators 1 and 2 with sawtooth waves. I'll use the fine tune on each oscillator to create some phasing and frequency beating. As the oscillator's respective tunings are set farther apart, the effect will become more apparent. While the Tempest has two analog oscillators, their tuning is controlled digitally. This makes the oscillators very stable. Let's take a look at how to mess them up a bit and add more of a varied sound with a slight sloppiness to it. First, you could use the dedicated oscillator slop parameter to make the oscillator tuning drift. Navigate to analog oscillator 1 or 2 and turn up the slop parameter. If you wanted to add a bit more variation to the sound, you could use one or both LFOs or low frequency oscillators to modulate the oscillator's pitch even more. Use the soft knobs to assign the LFO to modulate oscillator 1's frequency and adjust the LFO settings to taste. I'll choose a fairly slow rate and add a small value to the amount. Hit the LFO button again to toggle between the first and second LFO. I'll assign LFO 2 to modulate oscillator 2 with similar but different settings and a slightly different rate. Now that we have a solid oscillator foundation, we can use the filter and envelopes to adjust the tonal characteristic of the patch. Setting the amplifier and filter envelopes to have longer stages will give you a more pad-like sound, while shorter values for the stages will give you a more lead-like sound. You can use the velocity amount parameters for the envelopes to give the sound a more dynamic response. We've gone over several methods for creating bass and lead sounds, as well as how to trigger the Tempest polyphonically from an external source. Make sure to save the sounds you created today for use in future tutorials. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again soon.